This is Channel 7 News. This is Lanny York for Channel 7 News. The South Side Canals were the target of more gang violence last month in a shocking assault. The gang, nicknamed the Burners, invaded the area, killing innocent people and taking paramedics and civilians hostage. As T Zero battles against the violence, its leader is now coming under fire. Sergeant Adam Wolf is accused of torturing gang members who are in custody. Civil activist Gabe Peeps is calling for an immediate investigation. Meanwhile, Mayor John Wyatt is facing criticism for failing to resolve gang activity as promised. During a press conference, he promised the situation would be resolved more than two months ago. The mayor has been told he needs to do something soon. Otherwise, the military will be brought in to protect the citizens who've been leaving in increasing numbers. Well, several major companies have donated record funds to the city's plight in an event organized by Shift It. Nearly $2 million was raised for T Zero and emergency services, but polls show T Zero still has little public support. We're getting reports of another major gang attack now. It seems multiple firebomb attacks have hit the downtown area. Several buildings have collapsed, and many people are now trapped between the fires and the gangs. Emergency crews have just arrived on the scene, and T Zero is on its way. Police are asking citizens to avoid the downtown area completely. We'll have more on this story as it unfolds. Channel 7, first for news in your city. Great timing. I got two of my men down in the alleyways. I need your help. Take out those crazy bastards throwing Molotovs so I can get that fire put out and get you into the alleys. Nice job, officer. Now go find my guys. You know... I knew something like this would happen one day. Hey, Nick. It's good to see you again. Just one more thing to drop the tax under here. Back up! Hurry! There's lives at stake here! Take them out! Damn, that was close. Hey, you're Mason. I heard about you from my buddy Doug. You were with him at the attack on Hope Street. I'm working down here with another guy from my group, Steve Blazowski. We gotta find him. I'll tag along with you. That way, you can watch my back, and I'll help you out if I can. Okay, buddy? Damn! I need medical assistance in the alleys! Steve is down! I repeat, I need medical assistance! On my way. You're gonna be okay. You hear me? Shit. He's losing it. Listen to me. Stay with me, Steve. Come on! No! Damn it! I worked with him for three years. He was one of the best. These bastards murdered him! Damn, it's too late. He's dead, Mike. There was nothing you could do. You really couldn't have saved him. Damn it. 
dead, Mason. Listen, I need a minute here. You go on. See if you can find a route into the building. I won't be long. Complete. I'm on it. Listen up. It's real smoky in here, and you need all the help you can get. Take this breather. I mean, fire department thermal vision and protection kit. Anyway, we call it breather. You can use it to find people and help you navigate this inferno. It also helps protect you from the effects of smoke and gas. Nick, it's Jane. I'm leaving the area and moving from the alley to the roof to provide medical assistance. Come back now. Any first day. Otherwise, good luck. No problem. See you up top. I need backup for my crew on the goddamn roof. SA-14, I'll get back to you with an updated ETA as soon as possible. No problem, Mason, Mason. get a move on. You need it on the roof. Okay, medical teams are being moved to the roof area. See you there, Nick. What a complete. That door? No problem. Careful! This is a backdraft door! Next time I hit it, air rushes into the room and it ignites, creating a huge explosion of flames. I saw one of these things turn a guy to ashes once. So look out, and use your shield to protect yourself. Backdraft! I'm coming! more unstable. We got no choice but to head to the roof and meet up with the other crews. I'm coming! Look out! Fuck you! you wanna... Quick, come in! That was too close for comfort. Thanks, man. Consider it done. Done. 
No problem. It's done. Good going, Nick. That gang leader will give us information we need on any further attack. Okay. Good work, Mason. Looks like uh, help's on the way. I'll stay here. You keep going. Hey, we got to stop meeting like this. Okay, listen up. We know there are civilians trapped in that blaze. Get them out here, and I'll make sure they get to safety. Hey, Doug, you were right about this guy. Hey, Nick. Good to see you, man. Listen, there's three people trapped in there, but the place is dangerous as hell. Tell me what you need me to do. I'll take care of the fires. You can deal with the gangs. Problem, Mason. Order complete. I'm on it. Order complete. In your face, fucker! Take them out! No problem. That's right! On my way. Help you with that. Come on, Mason, he's running out of time. Okay. Come back when you need help. Nice work. You get back in and look for the others.
Him? No problem. This guy looks pretty bad. Looks like he's inhaled a lot of fumes. We gotta get a move on. Hurry up! We need to get this guy out of here! help you with that okay come back when you need help well done there's one more to go hurry Shut that gas main off. He's running out of time. Okay. Come back when you need help. Fantastic. That is everyone out of the building. You need medical assistance? Okay. Come back when you need help. Keep a lookout for trouble. There's a, some kind of problem with the hydraulics on the crane arm. We need to wait up till they can get it fixed. Look out! Over there on the building! Take cover! Over here! Back under control. 
control. Get more crews up here. Reporting live over what was once a quiet suburb of apartment blocks and local stores. I say quiet, but that was until a few hours ago when, in a shocking conclusion to an armed siege by the Burner Gang, T-Zero appears to have resolved the situation by destroying part of the block. Now, I don't know about you, but when I first heard of the plan for T-Zero, I don't remember anything about having that kind of authority. Who knows? Maybe they did get permission, but I am telling you, from up here, I can only see a hundred years of history wiped off the face of the city. Isn't this the behavior we expected from T-Zero? Did you live in the Webster Street apartment and want to know where you're going to sleep tonight? If you have any comments, then contact Channel 7 on the usual number. Now back to Lonnie in the studio.